This is day number 18 of our fresh start. We are just getting to the end of it, and I trust that this time of meditation and prayer has been useful and purposeful for you. John chapter 2, verse 5. And his mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. This is Mary, the mother of Jesus, giving a very important instruction on how we should relate to the Lord Jesus Christ. They are at a wedding, a miracle has to be done, and Jesus uh, is going to work the miracle. But Mary tells us how Jesus works, and she says, whatever he tells you to do, do it. And that instruction to those servants at the wedding party is still God's instruction to us. If we want to see Jesus at work in our lives, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Now, at this point, Jesus is about 30 years old, and he has not uh, become popular. He's not in the big stage of his popular public ministry. But Mary had known Jesus for 30 years. And although Jesus has not worked public miracles, I am sure that Mary, just living around Jesus, has come to know how the Son operates and the supernatural power that is at work in him and through him. And Mary understood the way to see the work of God working through his son is whatever he tells you to do, do it. That's a mother's instruction. We must take it very seriously. Now, so how do we honor that? First, for us to obey his instructions, we must hear his word. If you don't hear his word, you don't pay attention to his instruction, you're not even going to be able to do it. And that's why it's important that as Christians, we pay attention to the word of God, the reading of God's word, the study of God's word, studying the words of Jesus Christ, understanding what he says, because that's where his instructions come from. It comes from the word of God, from the Bible. So we must hear his word. But not only must we hear his word, we must trust his word. Because if, if you're going to obey somebody's word, you must trust it. If the person speaks and you say, well, yeah, that's a good, good advice, but I, I have a different opinion, <laughs> then you don't trust his word. And these days, you know, people treat the, the Bible and the word of God as an option to other views. So, oh yeah, the Bible says it, but I, 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 that's not what I think. Oh yeah, I read it in the Bible, but that's not what I think. Well, then, then you cannot experience what Christ wants to do in your life. So, you must hear his word, you must trust his word, and depend on his word, that what he says is, is real, and what he says will come to pass. If he says with him nothing is impossible, then nothing will still be impossible uh, with him. You have to just trust that his word is what it is. And thirdly, we have to act on his word. It's one thing hearing the word. It's another thing trusting the word. But what is the proof that you heard and you trusted? The proof is that you acted. Because if you don't act, it means you didn't trust. And if you don't trust, it means you didn't hear it. You know, and there, and there are people who say, oh, I've heard the word of God. I trust it, but this is too hard. And when we say we're acting on the word of God, it's not only in terms of miracles that we want for our lives, but we have to act on every word of, of the Lord Jesus Christ. If he says, forgive your enemies, you must act on it. If he says, pray for those who persecute you, act on it. As tough as it is, you have to act on it. It is the same instruction that will come to you and say, walk on the water. And you have to trust and walk on the water. We trust everything he says and we act on his word. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I trust you and your word. I commit to do all that you tell me to do in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabil. Shalom, peace, and life to you.